Motec is an Australian tech company which makes software and and hardware for cars. But what they also make is a telemetry app called Motec i2, which a, a lot of which is very useful. And what that's why it is widely used in sim racing. So most sims have a i2 app integration, not officially maybe, but like ACC has it officially. But AMS2 hasn't had it. But now finally it has arrived. So I'm going to show you how you can use Motec with Automobilista 2. So let's get into what you want to do first. So what you want to do first is obviously download the things you need. So first, if you want to download the the Motec recorder, then you just need to search AMS2 to Motec in Google or any other browser. You scroll down to this GitHub link. You press, press it, and then you ha arrive here to Sim to Motec by Geekdeeks. So then you have all of the information here. You can find ev all the code. But then you want to go to releases and you want to download the latest one. But currently the latest one as of recording this has a few issues. But he will be checking it and hopefully it will be fixed whenever you're watching this. Uh, if it's not then you'll just have to wait. I will put it in. I will have it in the description. But then after you go here, you want to also go to Motec. You just search up Motec, you get to the Australian website. Then here you want to click where you are. I am in Europe. Then we want to go to Downloads, Software, I believe it is. Then here there should be somewhere. Um, okay, this is M1, which probably means that we are not in the correct spot. No, here we are. Data analysis, you want to scroll down to. Then you want to download i2 Pro. Then it depends on what version you want. I believe I have this version with the, the Pro. So after you have downloaded those two, you obviously want to download Automobilista 2 and that you obviously go to Steam to download and then you get to here you get to the pay your front screen you have everything downloaded then you want to open up the app called AMS2 you aren't seeing it but it look when you open it it comes up like this called AMS2 logger so you'll see it, it sort of looks, it's a blue and yellow logo and you will quite, you will recognize it. So then this comes up and then it shows you what's log, vehicle, venue, sequence, game state, race state, session, lap. Do you want to press start whilst you're recording and then press stop or leave the session and it will save as a log file or a Motec file. So then you want to go and open the logs file, which is just a normal file. Then you come into here, AMS2, and you have all of the sessions here. And you might think that you will have to open, double click here to open Motec and then open the file, which you don't actually have to do. What you can do is just double click here and it opens it in your, in the file, in the workspace which you're currently using. So this is the workspace I'm using. It's called SD Motec workspace. But if you want to use this one, you have to change a few settings to make it compatible with AMS2. It's only currently compatible with with ACC and iRacing. So if the guy is watching this, please make it compatible with AMS2 and if anybody else wants to go and comment it to him that would be appreciated so here you have every all of the things I will show you a few things which it can do and what I'm saying is as I said the current version has a few issues so this is a file from I think 
the mode take recorder like v1.4 and it's currently on v1.53 so here you, you can see you have throttle you can see you have g forces throttle and brake it seems like the throttle has a few issues but it will be fixed and if you want to with everything compatible just comment down below if you want i can when i've fixed everything i can upload a link in the description to a version of this file which works with ams2 just comment down below if you want it so then you have this and it has quite a lot of useful things so i'm just going to switch to my without my camera so you can see here you have a traction circle which shows you different neat things how much you can how how much g-forces your car can sustain from left to right accelerating and decelerating so this is of a formula ultimate gen 2 in ams2 which is basically a current f1 car but what i'm most interested in is you can not here if we go to traction that's where i want to see so you have this slip angle you can see but if we go to where is it okay so it's not oh it's not here not in traction suspension is what i wanted so you can see the ride height very clearly here so if you for example look here the, about at the car you can see that the rear is a lot higher than the front and if we check the base ride height of this car i can go i've done it so i have set up a setup sheet which is a motec sheet and that shows everything here so you can see here static ride height front is 32 millimeters and the rear 44 but then when we come to end of the, the end of the straight the front is at four millimeters and the rear is at 16 and then it dips quite low so maybe it shows that you can you should stiffen i should stiffen up the suspension because you also don't want to hit the bump stops but that's currently not shown in the app but what you can do is go to bumpiness and you can see how bumpy it is so the more red a the track is the bumpier it is so you can see here most of the circuit is blue the only places where it's red sort of is when i go over curbs so you can see here bit here and a lot here that's when i'm going over curbs so it shows that i can stiffen up the suspension what we also want to do is check the roll and pitch these graphs are very interesting and if you want to learn more about this telemetry and learn a lot about it you can read the race sim tools racing sim tools setup sheet on it so i have for example here is a page on uh, roll and pitch gradients and you have for formula one cars so if you look back at here it shows that the roll the roll of the suspension at the rear for example we can see it's 0 0.97 and in the front it's 0 0.98 and that's within the margin that it is wanting but if we go here you can see it still a bit so if we you also want to do this is look over multiple apps so we can see here that it is quite high so you can stiffen it up a bit so those are the things about motec which i have shown you it has a lot of things but you can also make a your custom a custom uh, motec workbench but then you'll have to search up all of the equation and that equations on that can get quite complicated quite quickly. So that's why I recommend finding one and then maybe just adjusting a few things or downloading one and then taking all of the equations and then putting it into your own. So that's what I, what my ideas are and that's how you can make AMS2 work with Motec. So what did you think of the video? Comment it down below. And whilst you're down there, please hit the like button and also subscribe. My next video 
we'll see what it will be on. But if if AMS2 V1.5 has arrived, it will be I will make a video on that. Otherwise, I can make it. We'll see what happens. Probably something will come up. But what I'm telling you is, if you're still watching this video, V1.5 will feel a lot better and hopefully people will start moving over. But unfortunately, it doesn't seem like multiplayer will improve a lot. But until then, I've been Racing Legend, you've been my amazing verse. Thank you for watching. Good. Bye!